Hey, what's up everybody? This is MJH and you may have heard about a DNS changer virus that is supposed to um, wreak havoc on a lot of people on Monday the 9th of July. Um, well, check this out. I'm on AVG's Facebook page. Uh, I was on Facebook earlier and I noticed they posted a link to a blog post they did about this. Um, check for DNS changer or face internet uh, internet blackout this Monday. Um, okay, let's go to that page. Uh, well, well, let's start with what they said. We've been asked a lot over the past few days about the DNS changer virus and how it will, how it will affect users on the 9th of July this Monday when the servers the FBI set to tackle this virus are shut down. Now let's let's go to this blog post and it it actually does tell you everything about it. Um, Internet users in the U in the U.S. and U.K. Uh, it'll it'll affect uh, approximately well not approximately they have the exact number sixty nine thousand five hundred seventeen DNS changer infections. Um, if you if you read this article, um, there's there's a link right there at the top, or uh, you can go to the Facebook page. I'll post it on the bottom of the uh, of this video on the blog on the uh, Facebook page. YouTube page, whatever. Um, but you can read all about this. But what had happened was a company or organization or whatever it was called Rove Digital back in, well, probably before 2007, but the FBI busted them in 2007. Um, DNS, and it tells you right here, the domain name system. When you search for something online or you thought you were going to a certain site, um, these, if you had this virus in your computer, it would redirect you to different sites, and these sites were affiliate links and uh, shopping channels and stuff like that, where these rogue digital people, you know, they'd get money for you clicking on these websites, and especially if you bought something, I suppose. Um, when the when the FBI found out about this and they 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 busted the people, they replaced their servers with um, their own servers quote clean servers unquote um so anybody who's had this um virus in their computer um since 2007 apparently when you did a search you were actually being redirected to not rove digital servers but the fbi servers and you were redirected to the right sites but you were going through the fbi's servers Wow, that's kind of, hmm. So anyway, my PC, my, the machine I'm using now was um, manufactured in 2010 and hit the shelf in 2011. I seriously doubt that I have this DNA, DNS changer virus in my computer. Uh, 2007 till 2010, I don't see how I could have picked it up. But even had I had this computer because I have another computer sitting over there I've had since 2005 I think when did Vista come out 2005 yeah so I've had that computer for a long time even if I was using that computer still I would be very hesitant to go to dcwg.org and it doesn't say it on this site but this site was put up by the FBI I don't know if it says it anyway or anywhere on here let me see control F FBI yeah on November 8th the FBI the NASA.OIG and Estonian police uh, this was in Estonian Estonia New York um, arrested well it tells you all about it but anyway you're on a site right now we're on a site right now that was put out by the FBI and if you click right here which I'm not going to do but if you click right here, you will download, um, I want to say a malicious spyware remover, but it's not a remover, it just detects if you have this virus. So we're on a, on a site that, that's from the FBI. They want you to click detect. I'm not going to do that. I mean, if you click on that, you don't know what kind of stuff the FBI is going to put on your computer. And this isn't one of those government things conspiracy things where I think the government's you know uh, 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 I, I don't know what they're trying to do now you know but um, 
It's the FBI people. What do, what do the FBI people do? The FBI people want to get information. So even if this is a very late program, it can still put a worm in my computer that sends everything I do from now on to the FBI. Hell no. And then you got fix over here. So I guess if you do detect it, do detect it, uh, there's a fix and protect. Um, I'm not clicking on any of that stuff. First of all, I don't think I have this worm. But even if I do, do you know what I have? I have AVG. And it's free. You know what AVG is? You know what Norton is, right? You know what McAfee is, right? Well, AVG is the same stuff, but better and free. And I've been using it for seven or eight years now. Something like that. Years, anyway. I haven't had a problem with anything using AVG. And it really is free. Because, you know, right here, and I'm telling you, I've been using it. Um, here, here it is right here. Um, let me open this up. AVG, right there. I've been using this for the longest time. Never had a problem with viruses or malware or spyware or FBI malware protection, scanning, whatever they want to do. So, anyway, just um, if you've got a subscription to AVG, uh, AVG or... Um, or not AVG, if you have a subscription to uh, Norton or to, uh, see, look at this, active, active, protected, active, active. I just ran a scan, today is Saturday, I just ran a scan last night, no no problems, you know, because it has uh, live protection, so if you're downloading something that contains a virus, it blocks it automatically, or it tells you about it, you know, do you want to allow this? If you don't know what the hell you're downloading, don't allow it. And I do download some stuff that, D, uh, ABG won't recognize, but I know what it is, you know, so, you know, I'll allow that, but if I don't know what it is, if I'm just clicking on a random website and I get an error message popping up, don't allow that shit, but anyway, um, free trial, that's, that's if you want to get the full version, but the um, AVG antivirus free right here, uh, all you got to do is download that, you don't have to pay for subscriptions to Norton or McAfee or anything like that again and the paid for a subscription I think it was in 2005 it was because I got Norton 2005 I paid $75 for that in the same day in the, within a couple of hours that evening not only did I catch a virus but the virus turned off Norton and I had to do uh, it shut down my whole computer I had to do a uh, computer restore uh, not, 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 not a, not a uh, of restore point I actually had to do a whole computer restoration and uh, recovery is what it's called a computer uh, system recovery wiped out all my files and everything I had them all backed up but still that's a pain in the ass what the F man and I never did get my 75 bucks back so I've been using AVG ever since haven't had a problem with it so if you're even worried about this um, DNS exchanger virus Download AVG and run a scan. If you have Norton, if you have McAfee already, run a scan with that. But the next time they tell you they need 50 bucks or 75 bucks for the next year's subscription, cancel that and download AVG. Don't spend money on that crap anymore because AVG is better and it's free. And if you want to get their full version um, that comes with the, the um, firewall and all that good stuff, you can do that as well. But... Um, you, you don't really need it. it. It all depends. You know, I mean, if you, if you want it, go ahead and get it. They, they do have a full version that you got to pay for. But I've been using AVG Free. I've been using Windows Firewall. And that's it. And uh, there is one other thing I use. It's called CCleaner. And you can just search for that, CCleaner. And what CCleaner does is, I'll show you right here. Um, it basically cleans all the, uh, it cleans your recycle bin, your... Uh, Temporary internet files, history, cookies, you know, all, all this stuff, it gets rid of it. Um, you can even wipe your C drive with this. Um, what I have highlighted here already, DNS cache, you can um, delete your DNS cache with that. And when you, be careful with some of this stuff, because when you download this, if you click the wrong stuff, like this right here, network passwords, warning, network passwords, okay, no, don't. You won't even be get you won't even be able to get online if you click that. So whatever is checked by default, go ahead and check that or leave that checked when you run this. But aside from that, don't check anything unless you know what it is. And if it gives you an error and you're not sure exactly what you're doing, don't do it. 
But outside of that, this program is awesome. It'll clean your registry. It has tools where you can um, we can uninstall programs you don't need or, or whatever. Uh, you can manage your starter programs. You got System Restore and your Drive Wiper. There, there we go. It froze up for a second. But you get oh, that's why System Restore takes forever to freaking detect or whatever. Uh, you got your Drive Wiper, and I'll, I'll show you something if this pulls up anytime soon. Um, clean your C drive. Like, I, I actually got this computer used. I didn't know what was in it. So I did the complex overwrite, which means what this does is it shreds all your empty files or, or all your empty space on your computer, but it, it shreds the files. And that means, um, like, if you just do it simple, that's it shreds it one time. Um, advanced, it shreds everything three times. Complex 7, very complex 35. Now, what what that does is, I'm going to tell you what, when you delete a file in your Windows computer and you send it to the recycle bin and dump your recycle bin, that's not deleted. I'm going to tell you what, all it deletes is your path name to that file. The actual file is still in your hard drive. So, um, what the hell? Do I want to change the color scheme? No. How do I even open that? So anyway, um, <laughs> so anyway, when you delete a file, send it to the recycle bin and open it back or, or uh, dump the recycle bin, the file is still in your computer. What that does is it deletes the path name so that um, your Windows system knows that it has that space available. That file is still in your computer and will stay in your computer until the Windows system needs that space again. and um, puts files on, in that space, in that actual space in your hard drive. Until then, that, that file is still on there. And um, uh, Pureform, who, did, who does ccleaner.com, they actually have another program called Recover, R-E-C-U-V-A, and it does, it recovers files. So if you delete something by accident, and you, you know, once you dump your recycle bin, you can't figure out how to find it, well, they have a program called Re uh, Recover. And, uh, you can pull your files back up, but they shouldn't be there once you delete them, but they are, and that's what you use CCleaner Drive Wiper for. Um, other options, I really don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, my computer's running slow. That's because I got this uh, screen recorder running and everything else. Okay, uh, just real quick, some other options. Um, cookies, um, whatever, whatever sites you've been on. Um, you have, like, these are the sites I've been on today since the last time I've used CCleaner. Um, these sites over here is where I've moved, like, um, freeavg.com. Okay. When I move it over here to this side, well, then it saves the cookies. But all these other cookies, like Wirefrog, I can keep that one. Um, if I don't know what it is, I ain't going to keep it. Um blogs.avg.com, I can keep that, I don't really need it, but it's not going to hurt anything, Image Shack, I didn't even know I was on Image Shack today, look at that, pureform.com, I can keep that one, um, cbn.com, I can keep that one, ah, see, look at that, look at that one right there, dcwg.org, I don't want to keep that cookie, that's the FBI website, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it right now because my, um, my screen recorder is running, but as soon as I get done, I'm going to run that cleaner, and it's going to get rid of all those cookies that I didn't want. And if I didn't look at this, I wouldn't even know we were in there. I wouldn't even think about it. So that's how you protect your computer, people.